A great way to boost the engagement on your WordPress website is by displaying your Instagram content on your site. By doing this, you can present fresh and relevant content to your visitors while growing your Instagram followers at the same time. While most methods to add an Instagram feed onto your WordPress website might involve paid plugins, in this video, I'll show you how to create an Instagram feed like this for absolutely free. If you're ready, let's get started with the tutorial. To create an Instagram feed for a WordPress website, we'll use the Smashbloon Social Photo Feed plugin. This is the free version of Instagram Feed Pro the best Instagram feed plugin for WordPress, and it lets you create beautiful Instagram feeds for your website in just a matter of minutes. To get started, in your WordPress dashboard, hover over plugins on the left-hand side and click on Add New. Next, go and search for Social Photo Feed. And right here, this is the one we want, Smashbloon Social Photo Feed. Click on Install Now. Once the plugin is installed, we can also activate it. And there we go, we can now see the Smashbloon Instagram feed has now been activated and it's good to go. To create our first Instagram feed, on the left-hand side, you'll now notice Instagram feed. Hover over this and click on All Feeds. Next, go and click on Add New at the top. With the Social Photo Feed plugin, you can create a beautiful feed of posts from your Instagram timeline. As you can see, by default, we've already got that selected. But if you upgrade to Instagram Feed Pro, you can also create a feed of posts from any public hashtag or feed of posts that you are tagged in as well. Let's click Next and proceed. Now, we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Go and click on Add Source. Now you have to specify if your account is a personal or business Instagram account. Our account is a business one, so let's select it like this and click on Login with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you'll have to log in if you haven't already. On this tip, you'll have to select the Instagram account you want to connect with Smashbloom, like this. Once it's selected, go and click on Next. Now you'll have to select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account, like this, and click on Next. On this screen, it's now asking us permission to connect Smashbloom with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. All this is doing is allowing Smashbloom to view the data it needs to create our Instagram feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes to our Facebook or Instagram accounts, so it's completely safe. I recommend you leave all these options set as default, and we can go and click on Done. And there we go, we've now linked Smashbloom to Facebook. We can go and click OK. And one last step, we have a security confirmation asking us if we want to connect this domain to our Instagram account. We can click Yes, it's my domain, and proceed. And back inside our WordPress dashboard, we can now see that Instagram page that we just added, we can click on it like this and click Add. Then we can select it as a source for our Instagram feed and click Next. And straight away, we have our brand new, beautiful and responsive Instagram feed right here. We have all the latest posts from our account displayed neatly in this grid layout. Before I show you how to embed this Instagram feed on your WordPress website, let me show you how you can customize it. On the left-hand side under Customize, you can go into Feed Layout. With the free version of the plugin, you only get access to one layout type, and that's the grid. Upgrading to Instagram Feed Pro gives you access to even more features, which I'll explain later in this video. Now, if you scroll down below, you can specify the number of posts you want to display on desktop and on mobile. To modify it, simply type in the number of posts you want to display, like this. And you can also modify the number of columns you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. Just click on the drop down like this and select the number of columns you'd like for your feed. And if you made any changes to your layout, go and click Save on the top right corner. With the Social Photo Feed plugin, you can also customize the color palette for your feed. Under the Customize tab, go and click on Color Scheme. Here, it's currently inheriting all the colors from our theme, but alternatively, you can change it to the light theme like this, or a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can specify the exact colors you want for your Instagram feed like this. And remember, if you make any changes, go and click on Save on the top right corner. The header area up here is customizable as well. On the left-hand side, click on Header. And here, you can choose to enable or disable the header, modify the header size between small, medium, and large, you can add a custom avatar if you'd like to. You can choose a text color. You can customize the bio text. And if you upgrade to the pro version, you can even include stories from your Instagram account right here inside your feed. Once again, if you make any changes to your header, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. And if I scroll down to the bottom of my Instagram feed, you'll notice that we have a load more and follow on Instagram call to action button. Both of these buttons are fully customizable too. On the left hand side, you can select the load more button or the follow button. If I click on it, you can choose to enable or disable each button. You can customize the button text and the colors as well. It's totally up to you. With our plugin, you can also preview how your feed will look like across all devices. Just click on the buttons here to view how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. Now that you know how to customize your feed, let me show you how to embed it onto your WordPress website. On the top right corner, click on Embed. Here, it will give you a dedicated shortcode for your new Instagram feed. You can copy it and then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your Instagram feed to, like this, and then click on Add. And now inside your page, all you have to do is add a shortcode block and paste that shortcode we copied earlier, like this. And there we go, our Instagram feed is now added into our page and we can now check out what it looks like on the front end. 
And here we are now on our live web page. And right in the middle, we can see our new beautiful and responsive Instagram feed, just as we designed inside the plugin. And this is all possible with the free version of the Smash Balloon Instagram feed plugin. But if you want to get access to even more Instagram feed types and create a variety of different layouts, you should consider purchasing Instagram Feed Pro. On top of being able to create a beautiful feed of posts from your Instagram timeline, you can also create a feed of posts from any public hashtag and also a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. And if you don't consider yourself design minded, don't worry. With Instagram Feed Pro, you'll also get access to several different templates for the appearance of your Instagram feed. You'll have options like the default, Simple Grid, Simple Grid Excel, Simple Row, and so much more. Once your feed is created, you can customize it even further with additional layout options like the carousel, masonry layout, and the highlight layout too. And as I mentioned earlier, you can also include stories within your Instagram feed and even enable options like the infinite scroll where your posts will load automatically as you reach the bottom of your feed. And that's not all. When it comes to embedding your Instagram feed, you'll not only have the short codes which I showed you before, but you'll also have a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. So you can embed your Instagram feed in just a single click with no hassle. And these are only just some of the additional features and benefits you get with Instagram Feed Pro. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll make sure to leave a link for it in the description of this video. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues with the plugin, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.